Hi everybody, welcome to MPD at a Glance. I'm Sharon Bear, and joining us today is Lieutenant Ivan Valencia. Yeah, thank you for having me, Sharon. Oh, thanks for coming. I hear we had a promotion this past week? Yes, we did. Uh, so our uh, current uh, police uh, civilian manager is retiring after 31 years of service, and uh, Karen Robertson uh, has been promoted to that position now, and will be taking over next month. That's exciting, a lot of movement lately, huh? Yes. Uh, and uh, it's exciting that it's happening in our non-sworn area where we sometimes don't have those movements that we do on the sworn side. That's great. Right. Uh, another shout out that we'd like to do in this segment is uh, to Lieutenant Rigo Diablo, who recently graduated from the FBI Academy in Quantico, Virginia. Uh, during his academy, he was tasked with a project and the results uh, impressed the staff so much that he was invited to go back and present that same information to the following class. Uh, it, it involves uh, emotional intelligence training that is used in the private sector by successful corporations and we always try to see how we can implement some of those uh, techniques uh, or skills in the public safety field and here at the Medessa Police Department. Oh that's great. Well it's a great start to the summer. Yes. We've got the hot weather. We have graffiti weekend coming up. Uh, I guess the Kiwanis Club of Modesto has organized once again a graffiti parade. Um, are you going to go to it? I won't be there, but it's this coming Friday, June 7th. Uh, huge event, uh, at least uh, Modesto is well known for its graffiti parade. Uh, thousands of people coming from all over the country with uh, awesome vintage cars uh, that will be on display and uh, the parade itself. I believe the hours at the McHenry and uh, the downtown area will be closed are from, uh, gosh, six o'clock? Uh, three to 10. Though the parade starts at 6.30, you probably want to get there early because people will line up and then they will start putting their chairs out in the morning. That's right. And uh, obviously, uh, we are going into warmer weather, so please uh, prepare for the heat as well. Yes. So that's the big event this coming weekend. Um, this past weekend, there was a lot of chatter about a hit and run that happened on Roseburg and Del Vale. Correct. Did you hear about that? Yes, and, and, I, and I know we have video, and it just goes to show how, uh, you know, nothing's routine in public safety and how dynamic... Uh, dynamically things can change. Uh, part of the video is one of our officers that was working uh, traffic enforcement, making our streets safe, uh, but then he has to change course and now uh, respond to a hit and run accident where somebody was seriously injured and uh, help capture the suspect. And you will see all that in our video. Yeah, we'll, we'll want to recognize our citizens who seem to always be there for us when we need assistance with either identifying somebody or locating somebody. It's always nice having the community be extra eyes for you. We use them a lot on Facebook. We'll post pictures and say, you know, who's that Wednesday? You know, help us identify this person. Yeah. Um, you know, it takes everybody in the community to make it a safer community, and we appreciate it. Yeah, we're very fortunate here at Modesto that we have an active community that is always willing to help, and uh, with social media, sometimes that facilitates that help. Uh, but from this video, you'll also see how citizens help this officer track down the suspect and take him into custody. Well, let's take a look. Okay, how long ago was that? Like, not even two minutes. Okay, thank you. Give your team a call, 911. T7, I got him. Uh, we're Del Monte and an alley. He's down on Delray. Red Roommate, white shirt, short, black white shirt. Seven, he's running. Want to go for it? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back. T seven, we're in the alley. And we want to point out the um, the twelve year old that was injured in this hit and run is now home in the hospital and expected to make a full recovery. So that's good. some good news on that one. Exactly. Yeah. So, so today actually happens to be one of our SWAT training days. Uh, we're training uh, breaching uh, different structures uh, in situations where you have a hostage and uh, you need to get there uh, you know quickly you have sometimes you have to breach a door or a wall so uh, fortunately for us uh, our training days today and we'll be able to take you out and show you and demonstrate some of these uh, techniques that we use out in the field uh, to save lives and improve public safety 
Thank you for watching. Uh, we'd like to leave you with this clip of our SWAT team uh, practicing a hostage rescue situation. You'll see them breach a door and deploy a flashbang. Hope you have a great weekend.